Hello students! Welcome back! Lesson 11 is about stating research questions. Write true if the statement is correct. If the statement is incorrect, write the word or phrase that makes it correct. Answer the 5 item activity. Let us see if your answers are correct. Number 1. The ultimate goal of the research is not only to propose ways of studying things, people, places, and events, but also to discover and introduce new practices, strategies, or techniques in solving a problem. Number one is true. Number two, the research problem enables you to generate a research limitation. Number two is false. Research limitation must be research questions. Number three, reading background ideas about the problem is another way to discover some theories or principles to support the study. Number three is true. Number four, the correct formulation of research questions warrants not only excellent collection, analysis, and presentation of data, but an incredible conclusion as well. Number four is false. Incredible must be credible. Lastly, in formulating research questions, it is important to define the aim or desired outcome of the study. Number five is true. The research problem. The ultimate goal of the research is not only to propose ways of studying things, people, places, and events, but also to discover and introduce new practices, strategies, or techniques in solving a problem. The word problem makes you worry and pushes you to exert considerable effort in finding a solution for it. In the previous lesson, you learned about background of the problem. Few points to remember. You have to spend time getting background knowledge about the problem that triggered off your research topic to discover its relation to what the world, particularly the experts, professionals, and learned people know about your topic. Also, reading for rich background ideas about the problem is also another way to discover some theories or principles to support your study. The research questions. The research problem enables you to generate a set of research questions. However, your ability to identify your research problem and to formulate the questions depends on the background knowledge you have about the topic. To get a good idea of the problem, you must have a rich background knowledge about the topic through the RRL, which requires intensive reading about the topic. RRL means Review of Related Literatures. For example, your research problem is your need to have a safer, comfortable, and healthful walk or transfer of students from place to place in the UST campus. Your research topic is the construction of covered pathway in the USD campus. You must have your general question. For example, what kind of covered path should USD construct in its campus? Also, after the general question, you must think of specific questions. Number one, what materials are needed for the construction of the covered pathway in the USD campus? Number two, what roofing material is appropriate for the covered path? Number three, in what way can the covered pathway link all buildings in the campus? Number four, what is the width and height of the covered path? Lastly, how can the covered path realize green architecture? Your specific questions will help you enrich the content of your research paper. Aim of research questions. To investigate specific aspects of the research problem, the research questions lay the foundation for the research study as they determine the research design or plan for the study. Any method or technique of collecting and analyzing data specified by the research design depends greatly on the research questions. The correct formulation of research questions warrants not only excellent collection, analysis, and presentation of data, but a credible conclusion as well. Writing your research questions will be much easier if you follow these guidelines. First, examine your literature. Second, talk over ideas with others. 
Third, relate your topic to a specific context. Fourth, define the aim or desired outcome of the study. Try to identify the research problems of the following research topics. This can be found on the abstraction portion. On the first column, you have there the research topics in the name of their authors. You have to place your answers on the second column under research problem. Let us answer the first item. Implementing sugarcane block farming for increased farm income and productivity. This is by Pantoja Blanquita R. and Alvarez Joan V. and Sanchez Flor de Liza A. in 2019. The research problem is the implementation of sugarcane block farming to increase farm income productivity. You will notice that when you have your research topic, it will be easy to identify your research problem even though you do not have that much background about that specific topic. In the next activity, you have to cite at least three specific questions about the given general question. The general question is, what is the impact of the Taal Volcano eruption on the hotel and restaurant businesses in Tagaytay City? Imagine interviewing the hotel and restaurant businesses owners in Tagaytay City. What will you ask them? Place them in your specific questions. A sample question is, how big is the decrease in the number of guests after the Taal Volcano eruption? This time, you have to formulate your own general question and specific questions. In the application portion, it says, In the previous lessons, you were asked to choose a research title and write a sample background of this study. Having those in mind, formulate a research problem, a general question, and at least three specific questions. In the actual research writing process, the minimum number of specific questions is three. Now, since this is just a mock research writing, then you may just place three specific questions there. But if you can think of many more specific questions, then that's better. Congratulations for being able to formulate your general question and specific questions. That's all for lesson 11. Thank you for watching!